Hello everyone, today I am going to be doing just a small little second channel discussion talking about the second kit predictions for the last six weapons we have in the game. Obviously not going to do predictions for this Platana and Trigger that we have not seen yet because like, you know, we haven't seen them, so I don't know what would work for them. Uh, so we're just going to talk about the six main weapons right now that need a second kit left in the game. And again, this is what I think will happen. This is like, you know, it's a little bit of my hopes mixed in there, but it's also with a little bit of, you know, trying to understand Nintendo logic a little bit. So we'll see if I get any of them right. First up is Bamboo with Angle Shooter and Super Jump. I feel like this is probably my second most likely kit prediction out of anything here. There isn't Chump on a Charger, and there isn't a Line Marker on one either. And this is, you know, if we're going by the realm of weapons to get Dart, Bamboo has to be up there, you know. Since it's, it can combo, like, even if it has a partial, I believe it can combo. So it's a pretty, like, consistent one. It just makes sense to me to do it. And it would be a bit more unique. I, and it's just, you know, that it's the new sub. They have to put it on more stuff. They're probably going to put it on something here. And out of, you know, the only other weapon that's, like, kind of would work with it is maybe RB combos. I don't think it'd be good on RB, but, like, that makes sense. And then Chump. I think would work fine on bamboo it's like following the same pattern you get a little bit more damage and paint to play around i think it would work for it fine it would kind of mesh well with all the other chump weapons that's in with it you know i think it's a decent synergy type kit that would add a sixth chump weapon to the game and we haven't gotten one in a while so i feel like one of these weapons is going to get chump and bamboo seems like the most likely candidate next up is dowser dooley's this is my most hopeful one of the list uh, I'm hoping, desperately hoping, that one of these weapons is an inkjet. Bamboo's probably my second candidate for it, but I think Dowser is the most likely. And the reason I say that is I think that Nintendo has to be somewhat aware of Jetpack on a dually being something people want, and this is the only one left. And if they're really afraid of maybe dodge rolls being too strong on a recall, even though they put Zip on Toucher, so maybe that doesn't line up, this is a dually with only one dodge roll, so it just kind of makes sense there. I think it would be a unique play style for the weapon to be cool. And then Torp is more, you know, there's only six Torp weapons in the game, so I think we're likely to get more of them. And I think this is a solid candidate for it. I think Dowser is a decent chance of getting a bomb, considering it already got a utility sub before with this weapon, with this weapon kit. So I think leaning to a more aggressive kit would make sense when this one is very clearly meant to more hang back. Heavy edits filing. This is the kit I am most confident about. If I had to bet money on any of these kits actually happening, heavy edit is my pick 100%. So obviously we're probably going to get another screen and triple splashdown weapon. And this is like probably the best screen weapon they could do. I don't believe it combos like you have to have three shots to combo. So that kind of sucks. It's like 52 in that regard. But this weapon strafes so fast and has range issues against a lot of back lines since it's, like, about the same as Nautilus. So it would just make a lot of sense. Like, this weapon could strafe in and out of the screen to be able to see more easily. It could take advantage of it for more close-range fights. And I think Edit typically plays with backlist teams anyway, so it would make a lot of sense for it to be a screen weapon that is typically best with backlist. And then the beacon is a bit more simple. They took it away from Ballpoint. I don't think it makes any sense on Hydra. So why not give it to this weapon? This weapon's fairly mobile. It could go set them up pretty easily. It's also really ink efficient. You would be able to get a full charge after placing a beacon and have like, I think, 5% of your tank left over. It's like, this makes sense for a beacon weapon. I think it'd be a cool kit. It could be something unique. So I, I'm very confident on that one. Hydra Spotling. This is one of two partial reference kits that I'm going with. I think Hydra Spotling with Bubble makes too much sense in fact, I think the most likely reason this kit wouldn't happen is maybe they wouldn't be okay with Hydra Bubble because it would be too good. Because you could just set it up and then all of a sudden the weapon can actually charge. You know, even against stuff like specials, you could put it near objective. It would just be a really easy way to set Hydra up and Hydra would do an amazing job pushing people away from Bubble. I forget how I heard say this, but Bubble tends to be best on either really long or really short range weapons. And I think Hydra is definitely the long range candidate. We have no long range Bubble weapon in the game and Bubbler was something it got in Splatoon 1. So lot of reasons for it to make sense to me you know we do have a decent bit of bubble weapons but you know it, it i think it's still reasonable like the longest range we have is squiffer and this is clearly different and then i would go with ink mine instead of sprinkler because we already have a lot of sprinklers like we have 10 of them 
So I think that mine is a bit more likely, and it had mine in Splatoon 2. It worked pretty well for it. They did also give it to Ballpoint, so maybe we'll see Sprinkler instead, though that's on Heavy, so who really knows? I think the sub-weapon for Hydra is a bit more up in the air, but if I had to guess, I'd go with, like, a partial reference kit. I'd just go with Mind Bubble. Next up is CRB. I don't think they're going to do the full reference kit. Now that CRB, like, the vanilla range has actually gotten a nerf, and it's, like, a really uh, used weapon... I think they're not going to give it any broken kit. However, I don't think that Kraken is that insane. I think the devs know that considering it's gotten somewhat buffed and its usage rate just doesn't seem to be that high. So I think they would find Kraken acceptable, but Splat Bomb probably not. I think we're getting the curling Kraken timeline. I'm pretty confident. Yes, this would be an 11th curling bomb weapon, but like the other options for bombs they could give it would be like Torp or Fizzy, which I think they there is like no way they give Fizzy to RP. Like, I would love it, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think curling is the reasonable pick. It brings down the power level of the Kraken kit. You can make it 210p. I think Kraken on it isn't too broken. And now that curling has its ink efficiency at 65, you get three shots after it with RB. So it frankly wouldn't even be that bad of a sub to get for it. There's also a chance to just get start or, like, some other completely random sub. Like, they could throw a mist at it for some reason. Hopefully they don't. Is Mist on a blaster? I don't think it is, right? Yeah, Mist isn't on a blaster. There is a timeline where... Oh, no, it's on this one. Well, you know, Mist is possible. We'll see. I'm hoping, like... I can't believe I'm hoping for curling. But, like, if it's not going to be Splat Bomb, and I think Fizzy is on too unreasonable, I, I hope it's a curling. We'll see, though. This one's really up in the air, because I think with how good range is, they might be too afraid to do the reference kit at all. So it could just be something completely different. There's also some people who think it could be the burst kit, like Grim. I don't know. I think S Blast took over that for a reason. All right, my final kit prediction, and my favorite one that I made for this, is Recycle Brella. So Burst Bomb is actually pretty underused right now, and if Burst Bomb was going to go on any Brella, I think it makes the most sense to do it for Recycle. Like, the burst combos would be insane, but the shield on this weapon is really bad. So if they don't want to make the shield good, then it makes a lot of sense to just spec into the damage more and give it something like a burst that it can fight with or maybe even a fizzy would be like a second candidate i think this could very easily get a broken bomb and play to its damage and i think triple this is like the best triple splashdown candidate as well you can shield launch to get closer kind of like how you would with your bubble so it's another way to set that up to like get it a little bit closer it would help with its fighting capabilities a lot because recycle would very easily combo with splashdown given its high damage and like solid firing range so I think it'd work well for it, and it just pairs with a burst bomb. Like, it's a Splatoon 2 kit that would work really well here. Like, you would be able to burst combo out of the splashdown as well, potentially. You know, it wouldn't combo outside of a direct burst bomb in this game, since the outside damage is 60. But if they ever buffed it, it could be really cool, and you could still just risk chucking two burst bombs at them. So I think there's just a lot of interesting potential and fun combos there. And, like, that kit was fun on shot in Splatoon, 1, in Splatoon 2. It was just kind of overshadowed by other options. But I think here... It makes a lot more sense, you know? We're still keeping the shield really bad, and nothing here really helps with you staying alive too much, because, you know, Splashdown, while better, is still not a going-to-keep-you-alive special. It's kind of a I'm-going-down-and-taking-you-with-me type special. So I think it would spec in really well. And, like, if they're going to make Recycle this fighting heavy Brella that has basically no shield, I want them to at least make it better at doing that than Splatoon 2 Brella was. And right now, it's not. So if they want to give it a kit like that, that really actually allows it to be an insane fighting gun that you have to respect regardless of the weak shield, then I think that would be cool. Um, final thoughts. These kits are probably way too hopeful, let's be honest. They're probably, like, still upper end of what we're getting. Uh, but I think it's not the most unreasonable thing either. All of these feel like they're in the realm of of possibility and i hope we get something similar or better with all of them but we'll see can't be a long way now so let me know what you think in the comments below bye